on the 26th of January 2020 as legendary basketball player Kobe Bryant passed on in a helicopter crash with his daughter Gian. The world came out and poured out emotions on social media. Trust people to come out and tweet like their hands and not in accordance with their brain. A lady came out and posted a picture of Kobe kissing his daughter and wrote, is it right for a father to kiss his daughter on the lips this way? They deserve their death because Kobe was obviously a pedophile and an incestuous father how do you come out and say something like that about the dead like don't people think it actually got me really angry only for another prophet Nigel Gacy to come out and say he's capable of raising Kobe Bryant and his daughter from the dead how do you come out and say it? then he said he would do it only if they promised to give him 10% of Kobe Bryant's net worth when he was alive how possible is that? How do you come out and make such a joke in this kind of critical situation? But I was thinking personally that Chebi just wants 10% of the network. There's no harm trying. We are not losing anything. Let's give him the opportunity to try his magic trick on Kobe Bryant. Of our culture, uh, Olympic teams, uh, Hollywood, a, a, the father of four daughters. So recently he has been seen at women's sporting events supporting the US women's soccer team. Uh, WNBA games. We pray the souls of the deceased rest in perfect peace. We still have a whole lot of sizzling gist for you. Don't go anywhere. It's still Oin Damola on the Gist Unplug TV. <laughs> Welcome back to the Gist Unplug TV. Now, on a light hand note, popular controversial cross dresser has done it again. Hey, no other person but Bob Risky. So we heard. It was reported, we saw, <laughs> that policemen came to arrest him at his residence at Lekki on Thursday and they brought him back on Friday morning to come and pick all his cars. The reason for his arrest was not stated yet but we heard one of the officers saying we go turn him back to this guy. But another person said he was arrested to trace the four soldiers that have been illegally following him everywhere. So apparently, the soldiers that have been following Bob Risky are not actually legal. Then in a video we saw, we saw that Bob Risky did not actually do butt surgery. Because how come on that morning, his butt was as flat as a guy's own? So apparently, he has been wearing butt pads. Why will Musa not see at the gate? In the just concluded 62nd Grammy Awards, Burna Boy lost the award of Best World Music Album to Angelique Kiju. Hmm. But look at the bright side. Angelique Kiju actually dedicated the award to Burna Boy. Now, people came out to say that Burna Boy should have won the award, not Angelique Kiju. But in my own opinion, Angelique Kiju has been doing this thing for a while. <laughs> On our next gist, Somebody hold me because I'm losing control. Hey, hey, I miss all the King Patrick drama. Would you believe that Peruzzi is actually buying a house in Lagos? And according to what I heard, the house is worth thousands of dollars. I want to have mind like that boy because hey, in the middle of everything, he just shot everybody out and said, hey, hey, I am gonna buy this house. But anyways, congratulations to you, Peruzzi. Episode of the gist where I told you guys about Michael and Angela. 
cutting their engagement. <laughs> Over the week, they gave us another shocker. They actually got married. Like, I am so happy for both of them. And I'm happy they're finally settling down. Even if I don't know what went down on the ground. But the fact is that they made it official and they are married. Happy married life. Michael and Angela. Please stay hydrated, eat good food, and maintain a clean environment because of the so many diseases that are flying around. And before we go, do one last thing for me. Like, comment, and subscribe to Flux TV. My name is Oyin Damwala. Till we meet again on the next episode. Bye-bye.